Hello everyone and welcome back to Career Mudra. My name is Dr. Pratiksha Gupta and in today's video I'll be guiding you about the Tamil Nadu NEET MDS counseling. So after my careful observation and evaluation I have made this video and I'm supposed to give you the information in two parts. In this first half of the video or the first part of the video we'll be talking about the Tamil Nadu counseling procedure for the NEET MDS and in the second part that is the part 2 of the video we'll be talking about the fee structure of the different colleges so let's begin this video first we'll start with an overview like there are how many seats in tamil nadu for the mds and how many colleges are there so there are all total 397 mds seats in tamil nadu and all over 19 dental colleges out of which two dental colleges are gdcs that is one in chennai and the second one is kudalore and there are all over six minority colleges and 11 non minority colleges so now you must be thinking that what is this division of minority and non minority colleges so it's same as other states in minority colleges there are minority students who can participate in the counseling and then in non minority it is for the all over general students and the private students In Tamil Nadu the seats have three categories one is your government seats which is for the Tamil Nadu resident domicile students the second is your government seats in private colleges now these seats means that these are pure private seats but they have the fees of government colleges and this is only for the Tamil Nadu domicile students only and then third comes the self financing private seats what do you mean by self financing in Tamil Nadu the private colleges are known as self financing colleges and these are the non minority colleges so there are all total three types of seats as i told you the number one will be your government seats the number two will be your government seats in private college and the third will be your self financing seats that is private seats in the private college now let's talk about the eligibility like who are these people who are eligible to participate in tamil nadu tamil nadu counseling first and foremost non domicile students that is students who are not a part of tamil nadu are also eligible to participate in this counseling as tamil nadu is an open state after that you should be neat qualified you should have passed your bds from a recognized dental college in india it can be in tamil nadu or outside tamil nadu not a problem so these are the few eligibility which is required who are not eligible now there is a criteria of non eligibility in tamil nadu where students who are already pursuing mds or who have completed their mds or who have left their mds from any other states are not eligible to participate in tamil nadu counseling moving forward let's talk about the registration fees and the security fees that is required in the tamil nadu counseling the application fee is 5000 rupees and the security fees is 30000 rupees for the government colleges 1 lakh rupees for the government seats in the private college and 2 lakh rupees for the private seats or the self finance seats in the private college moving on let's talk about the documents that will be required so see the documents that will be required in the counseling is same as other states there is only one extra document that will be required is the eligibility certificate from dr mgr university chennai so those students who have completed their bds from tamil nadu needs to get this eligibility certificate from the dr mgr university of chennai the same criteria is also applicable in karnataka council you can check that video if you are looking for karnataka council so now let's see what are the steps the first and foremost step is that once you qualify neet mds counseling the tamil nadu government will announce its counseling procedure for that you can check out that what is the link to the tamil nadu uh, counseling it is mentioned here on the screen moving forward first of all you have to register yourself for the counseling once you register yourself for the counseling then you have to make the fee payment for the application fees which is 5000 rupees once the fees is paid you have to move forward and pay the security deposit which can be 30000 1 lakh or 2 lakh depending upon the counseling that you are looking forward to moving forward you have to do your choice filling now choice filling will only open once you have made the security deposit after the choice filling there will be publication of the merit list once your name comes under merit list you are eligible to take up the take up the college of your choice once the co uh, college is allotted to you you will get a notification inside your uh, application form only so now you are supposed to log in and see the choice 
whether you have got the college that you wanted or not and make the fee payment in the application form itself. Now, this is different from other states because in other states, what happens is that you have to report to the counseling center in order to make the fee payment. But here in Tamil Nadu, before reporting to the college or to the counseling center, you have to make the provisional fees payment, whatever is the fees of that college in the counseling uh, form itself. So once you have made the payment, then only you can move forward with all the documents that are published here on the screen and take it to the documentation center or the counseling center that has been allotted to you. All this information will be notified to you inside your application form itself. Now, there are a few terms and conditions which comes into play when it comes to Tamil Nadu counseling. The first and foremost, if you have been allotted a college in round one, you can take up the college, but there's a designated time for a free exit. Now, if you don't want that college, you can definitely exit from the counseling in the first round as it has free exit, like other states. Moving forward, if you want any upgradation, you can go for that also in round two. But in case you get any college allotted in the round two, you're supposed to take up that college as you're not eligible to participate in the further rounds of the counseling. And if you report to the college in the second round and then you by chance want to skip the counseling and don't want to proceed forward, your security deposit will be forfeited and the refundable amount of your fees is doubtful whether you will get it or not. Moving forward, there is a stipulated time of 15 days after the mop-up round and the stray vacancy round that in case you get a college allotted within stray round or within the mop-up round and you don't take up the college within 15 days, then you have a fine of 15 lakh rupees as it is a bond that will be filled by you in the counseling center itself. So these are the few criteria that uh, plays a very major role during the Tamil Nadu counseling. The counseling is a bit different than uh, other state counselings as you have to be very strategic because you don't have much chances of error. As once you have got a college allotted, you have to be very sure before going for an upgradation as in case you get any college allotted in the second round, you are supposed to take up that college. Now that's all for the Tamil Nadu counselling procedure. I hope I have given you a bit of clarity like what are the seats and what is the fee structure and everything. For the detailed fee structure of what are these minority and non-minority colleges and what are the fees of the different clinical and non-clinical branches, move on to the second part of the video or the part two of the video where we will be discussing about the fee structure of different MDS uh, seats in different dental colleges of Tamil Nadu. Thank you. I hope you like this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Career Mudra.